5F. This week we have been working on chapter three of our memoirs about our community. So today we are going to rewrite that first chapter, or I'm sorry, that third chapter to make our writing stronger using senses to describe places. So we have talked about a couple ways right now to make our writing stronger. Um, we have so far have found the heart of our stories. We have um, added dialogue, and today we're going to use our senses. One mistake that writers sometimes make is that we assume our reader knows what's on our mind. The truth is, what we imagine in our heads is clear to us, and our job as writers is to make it clear to our readers, too, including details about how we experience the stay-at-home order of 2020 with each of our senses, can help readers feel almost like they are with us. So now you'll see below we've got um, so two posters I'm going to include on your slide to, for you to refer to. They have all the senses, the five senses, sight, sound, touch, taste, and smell that are going to help you make your writing stronger. I'm also going to include this video here if you are still confused and want to expand uh, and learn a little bit more about it. Um, before we move on, let's... Uh, just take a look at you know one or two examples over here. So sight, what we see. Here, our writer is talking about socks on the floor. To add that sensory detail, they put the muddy socks were piled on top of the rug. So now I'm seeing socks filled with mud in a big pile on a rug. Um, another example would be down below, we've got smell. Her perfume smelled good. Well, this doesn't really help me smell what's happening. So the writer rewrote and said her perfume smelled like flowers and vanilla. Now I can smell my favorite flowers and that vanilla scent, which really puts me in the moment. Uh -oh. Let's go to the next page. What's happening? Sorry, guys. I'm having computer issues today. All right. Let's take a look at some examples from the I Survived book of the Titanic, Sinking of the Titanic. So when planning for your writing, you want to think about the heart of the story and think about the sound, what do I hear? The sight, what do I see? The smell, what do I smell? The taste, what do I taste? And the touch, what do I feel? So we here have three examples. The sound is highlighted in red. Oh, I'm sorry, file five examples. Um, we'll look at the other two on the next slide. The sight, what do I see, is in green. And the smell, which is going to be on the next slide, um, in orange. We've got taste on the next slide in purple. And then in blue, we've got touch. What do I feel? So he kept his eyes on the sky. He had never seen so many stars. There, I am seeing now stars in a sky. Papa said that Mama watched over him from heaven. Could Mama see him now? The ship lurched. This, again, now gives me a vision of the ship moving. We're going down, a man shouted. George closed his eyes, praying that this was all a dream. Even more terrible sounds filled the air. Glass shattering, furniture crashing, more screams and cries. All this here describing what he's hearing. A bellowing sound like a giant beast was dying a terrible death. George tried to hold the rail, but he lost his grip. He tumbled, smashing his head on the deck. So this last part here that we read is touch. Maybe you've lost your grip before. You can feel that happening. Awake, it's now daybreak, but don't forget your dreams. Thinking about Mama was like standing close to a fire, warm at first. You could feel that warm fire. But to get too close and it hurt too much. Much better to stay clear of those thoughts. Nothing cleared George's mind quicker than being in the woods. He never stayed out for more than an hour or two, except for that night back in October. George was heading back toward home when he heard a terrible sound like a little girl screaming. You can hear that little girl. He turned around, and in the dark distance, he saw two glowing yellow eyes. You can see those eyes. Some old-timers said there were black panthers in the woods, but George never believed it. But as the yellow eyes got closer, George could see the outline of a huge cat 
with two glistening fangs. George told himself not to run. He knew he'd never outrun a panther. But he couldn't help it. He ran as fast as he could. Branches cut his face, but he didn't slow down. Any second, the panther would leap up and tackle George. Its claws would tear him apart. George could feel the cat right behind him. He could smell its breath like rotting meat. So if you've ever smelled rotting meat, you meat, you get that scent as you're reading. George grabbed a fallen branch. So here we have all five senses just in one or uh, three or four pages that we just read. So in the same book. Uh, if you want more examples, I'll include these um, examples as well on your page. So today, if you need this organizer, use this organizer to help you plan. Okay, so this is what you're going to fill out for your class kick today. I want you to um, think, what did I hear? What do I see? What do I smell? What do I taste? And what do I feel? I want you to fill out at least three of these sensory details and then add them in your writing. If you need some help, join me on Zoom at 1.30 today.